What's happening? What's going on? Welcome to another video of Ride with Raj. Yes, lately I'm getting this that why am I not uploading vlogs frequently? Simple thing. My camera is yet in Dubai and it's still getting repaired. I had borrowed my friend's camera, but I had to return it to her. I had done an Instagram live session about these lights. We're talking about the auxiliary lights. Yes, this is a new purchase. This video is not sponsored, my fellow riders. This is actually purchased by Siddhant and we were waiting for these lights for more than 15 days. We thought first we'll experiment on our motorcycle, give you all the output. So today's vlog will be completely in the flow because we are really amazed with the quality of these lights. And I have done a live story, a live unboxing of these lights. So if you are not following me on Instagram, I'm doing a lot of unboxing on that. So please follow me. These are the details mentioned below. And yes, if you guys are looking at the art behind, let me show you guys properly. A big shout out to Shelly who gave me these two nice looking frames. This is actually done by her. This is the art which she does. Her Instagram handle is right here. Please check it out. And it looks really beautiful there. And slowly, slowly my setup is happening here. This is where my actual table would come for my future videos, especially the product review. So we have a Porsche cycle in my building. Looks really cool. People who do not know that I do cycle, uh, the one there in yellow and black is actually my cycle. Look at the state of my bicycle. This is what happened because of my building's work. And uh, it's so screwed up, but I'm going to restore it. Don't worry about that. Let's move. Obviously, you all want to see my GT, uh, which is dead. So yesterday, uh, I used jump cables to start this and it took five minutes to start this machine with a jump cable. But I'm sure the battery is still dead because even if the battery is, uh, yep, the battery is dead, but I'll try to start the EFI. It's a very simple process, guys. If the battery is completely dead, uh, like this, if the EFI doesn't function, the bike won't start. So if you kick start and if there's some kind of power generated in the battery, the speedometer actually goes there and comes back. And uh, if the EFI is on, you can immediately kick and start that. So I have actually used the jump cable yesterday and started this in 5 minutes. I do a lot of Instagram stories, so watch that, you'll know what I've done. And it is extremely hot. Jogeshwari. Next level, hot. And I have the auxiliary lights which you guys were waiting for. I've already unboxed this on Instagram. And I'm gonna quickly unbox this, show you guys the lights. So that you all will know what this is. This is by now. It is from AliExpress uh, and Siddharth paid around uh, $20, approximately 1800 rupees, which is not that bad, especially the LED lights in it. So let me show it to you guys. Comes in a very decent box. The packing is really nice. And uh, you can see that there are two packets in the box. And these are the lights. First thing you notice is that there are 5 LEDs on top, 5 LEDs below, 10 in between, so you can imagine the flare. Completely metal, so these are the brackets provided, but we will need additional bracket uh, for the leg guard. But this is a bracket so that you can oscillate the light, uh, you know how much you want to throw it on the ground or take it more higher. Uh, decent wiring, I think this is the thickest wiring I've ever seen on any uh, auxiliary lights at this pricing which is uh, 1800 rupees worth it i also like that all the nut and bolts are actually allen key fitted yeah so there's a bracket for uh, oscillating the the lights then you have the nut you have three type of uh, visors one is a locking visor you have a nut you have a allen key assuming this to be a number five uh, this fits here so you don't have to actually remove these uh, nuts and um, uh, bolts every time to oscillate the light that's the best part you can just loosen it and put it in the next grid so i'm forcing sidan to actually uh, help he hates coming in front of the camera and i'm forcing him to come in front of the camera so uh, sidan how to choose the right led lights uh, the one we read and everything about which we briefed right, so let's brief our audience also about it so if you look at these lights um if you are able to focus and if you are able to see, then the LEDs inside are all squares. That are, I believe, if I am not mistaken, are Cree LEDs. Now, you can find something similar to this for about, I don't know, maybe 2000 bucks in your local store. But those, the LEDs inside, if you look a bit carefully, will be round. 
सो दो आर नॉट एग्जैक्टली क्री एल ईडीज नाउ क्री एल ईडीज आर अ लॉट मोर एफिशियंट एल ईडीज एंड दे टेन टू गिव अ लॉट मोर थ्रो एंड अ लॉट मोर आउटपुट द फ्लेरिंग इज ऑल्सो मोर इन दर शेप इन द स्क्वायर शेप बिकॉज दे आर अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एल ईडीज सो दीज एल ईडीज एक्चुअली आर क्वाइट एक्सपेंसिव इफ यू कंपेयर इट टू योर नॉर्मल एल ईडीज विच आर कॉल्ड आई थिंक सी ओ बी और चिप ऑन बोर्ड एल ईडीज सो दो एल ईडीज आर वेल दैट इज एल ईडीज दे आर यू नो यू कैन सी दैट दे आर लाइट बट दीज दीज काइंड ऑफ एल ईडीज और स्क्वायर वंस those are the ones which are really uh, expensive number one and also a lot more efficient and they're much brighter um also they last longer uh, which is something I, that i am looking for now on your local um store you can find um a couple of these leds which are you know maybe about just two leds those things will cost you about 1200 bucks and the really expensive ones will be around 4 4000 bucks so That's why I got these from AliExpress because well it's much cheaper and I have faith in AliExpress because I've dealt with them quite a while. So this is what you have to be careful for. The LEDs inside have to be square because those are the Cree LEDs. These are really good lights. They are sturdy and they are heavy. Yeah. Also note these lights should actually be planted in such a way that the light should be more on the ground level. It should not be hitting in someone's uh, eye or something. and uh, they look really beautiful if it's very well planned so we're going to do the installation also okay so i am at firdos cafe and having my favorite chai and uh, sorry about the background noise and this is the surprise element which i wanted to keep in this video uh, which i showed on instagram and people were curious about the lights but they were more curious about this and you all will know what this is this is some 2 and 1/2 dollars or something but it's worth it and we'll talk about it when we install sidan kya bolta hai hai na so stay tuned i'll finish my tea and see you guys there all right so he's on his beast uh, and the reason i'm not riding is i'll get some road shot and we're going to afzal bhai's lathe shop to make these brackets so i'll show you guys that too my favorite late man in the world afzal bhai is right here guys <laughs> look at him bas bas bracket banana hai afzal bhai ye uh, lights lagana hai auxiliary lights lagana hai himalayan pe so welder is ready to weld the uh, bracket on the crash guard directly because they don't want to work on a live bike it's dangerous uh, we've come to afzal bhai to actually drill holes now drilling hole is not a good option all right It's better to weld a bracket and then put those lights. It's better that way. But it's very difficult for us to find some someone like that. So we are taking a chance of drilling hole because what the hell, you know? If we ever crash with the crash guard, anyways, you can't uh, straighten it. You have to put a new one. So it's okay. It doesn't make a difference if you're drilling one hole. Don't put multiple holes for sure. To the garage at 11:30. I met him at 12:30. It's four o'clock. We still not installed the lights. And Siddhant. is sleepy <laughs> it is so hot we are just having chaas we are having lassi and now i am telling have tea because he'll feel refreshed but he has to take care of his kids and he is so sleepy right now actually even i look tired right टाइम से काम पे नहीं आ रहे तू स्कूल वूल जा रहा है कि नहीं तू तेरे को पता है सब लोग जानते हैं मेरे सारे सारे सब्सक्राइबर तेरे को जानते हैं लोगों को पता है जोगेश्वरी का शाणा एक ही है इस्माइल भाई इस्माइल भाई कितना 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 साइकिल हो गया अब तक बारह तेरह साइकिल खरीदा रहेगा ना बीस हुए लाए क्या बोलता है इस्माइल भाई हाई बोलने का ना अपने दोस्त लोग को सब लोग जानते हैं तेरे को अच्छे से और इस्माइल भाई स्कूल जब जाते हैं जब स्कूल मन करता है ना जब मन करता है स्कूल जाते हैं भाई पाँच रुपये चाहिए उसको अबे यूजिंग दिस एंड दिस इज़ व्हाट वी वांटेड टू इन्फॉर्म यू गाइस ऑल अबाउट सो इंस्टेड ऑफ पुटिंग टेप्स वी सजेस्ट दिस इट कम्स फॉर टू एंड हाफ डॉलर्स फ्रॉम अली एक्सप्रेस सो वॉट इट डज इज वंस यू पुट इट ऑन द वायर एंड इफ यू बर्न इट विद लाइटर इट एक्चुअली 
uh, shrinks and it's made of rubber it's not plastic so it's rubberized and uh, quite high quality so it actually shrinks and tightens your uh, wiring so when you are trying to do this using cello tape or any kind of electrical tape a better thing to do is to use this this will help your wire not to have short circuits or any water going inside so this is very very important it's just for two and a half dollars we have multiple sizes of this and this is the thickness also to add another point this is a 100% waterproof uh, sleeve you get all different sizes so if you have even a fatter wire like for example let me show you all like this one is for really really fat wires so i think it's actually you can do your entire bike with this rather than insulating with tapes if you still want a little security you can put this burn this on your wire and then still insulate with the wire so that there's no chance of any water or any debris going inside and no short circuits and that's the reason i thought i'll uh, you know do this in the video and show you all the surprise element which is this and uh, now i think the next shot when the lights are done so the lights have been fitted now and uh, you guys can see the throw already and it's evening time they are quite flaring and uh, so we are planning to show y'all the throw and uh, it's still evening time and uh, you guys can see that it's on the floor so it's not going to affect anyone on the eye ha thoda niche so we, dono dono so we are just adjusting it because it should not come above the waist level because we wanted more on the ground level okay so no lights are on right now and we're going to on the lights now we have adjusted the situation here yeah, check it out that's the throw and the headlight is off right now it's only the lower lights which is actually showing much more level of ground and let's put the headlight on now ab headlight on kar do okay so that goes ahead so this is the total feel of the light okay so i am down in my building i have just come back and it's uh, nearly midnight the normal headlights so you all will know that how my uh, high beam how my normal beam is now this is high beam you guys can see this is high beam and i've shut the high beam and i've shut the normal headlight now i'm going to use the auxiliary lights there you go so the main role of these auxiliary lights is actually to show me the ground at least till around 10 feet or even more uh, i think the flaring is good i'll move a little ahead yeah so you guys can notice that this is the flare uh, this is the this is how the light actually spreads you can see that i can clearly watch that car i can see how many pebbles uh, the gutter front right there everything is around here see all the unevenness so if you are riding in ladakh or certain places where there is rough terrain you can spot everything and this is right now without the headlights let me start the headlights check it out this is with the headlights and this is with the high beam so you guys can see how much of light i have basically the visibility has increased to a next level now let me shut everything straight up you know how dark it is check it out guys this is how dark it is and there you go this is the kind of light now if you don't want to trouble the person coming in front you can put your headlights off you can just keep your auxiliaries on on the highway where you are doing a night riding or if you are doing off roading or any kind of uh, terrain riding so i think this is a success and all the details will be in the description and this is how it looks i'll again restart for you guys i'll shut it completely put it on check it out this is how bright it is all right so this was the video of auxiliary lights yes it looks like a very simple video 
but trust me i spent a whole day and it was lot of hard work so please respect for your brother and like this video if you've liked it subscribe if you've not subscribed to my channel share if you can share this video and these are kick ass trust me they're quite bright and they're perfect for the road and all the questions please mention in the comment and i'll answer them and i hope you like this video as usual eat well sleep well be good signing off ride with raj